Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Now, the reason why I'm doing this show is because people have been asking me like a little bit more details about how this thing works. What's the overall strategy about? And um, what you have to understand about taxes is how you allocate your taxes and your check is up to you. You know, how many dependents that you want to put is up to you. Like I notice when people do overtime, They'll usually, um, you know, like let's say they do overtime on a holiday or something. So to get their full check, what they'll do is they'll change their dependents so that they can get the most amount of that check. You know, they could do simply just not either pay FICA or not pay city state taxes, and it equals up to the same thing. Because when you don't take the check, taxes out for that particular check, then you get the full gross of your check. Now, if you do that, what does that mean at the end of the year or at the tax season when you um, file on April 15th? It could mean if you do it often enough that it'll cut down on the amount that you get back as a refund, if you get a refund at all. Like most of the time, I always get a refund because I always file zero um, dependents throughout the year. I let the I let them take the maximum amount that they're going to take or whatever they're going to take. And then at the end, I claim myself that money back. Well, I get some of it back. You know, I get a re in other words, I get a refund back at the end of the year. I like that better because I like having um, a refund check come to me um, after I file, you know, before April um, 15th, because I can use that for, you know, a nice lump sum of money. I can use that. It comes in handy. Rather than, you know, trying to avoid paying the taxes throughout the year and then, you know, either break even or have to pay back taxes. Like, I've never had to pay back taxes because I always file for zero. So what does this mean in relationship to the tax protest that we had suggested? Well, I suggested that we withhold city state taxes for just a month. And the reason why is because if you're going to not have city, state taxes or FICA um, taken out, not taken out for anything beyond a month, then what you should do, just common sense wise, is put that extra money away. Don't spend it because if you guys settle up at the end of the tax year, at least the money's there for you to settle up with. Now, a month is not going to do that much damage. A couple of pay periods is not going to do that much damage. But if you go a whole year without paying city state taxes, and let's say they challenge you on it and you um, have to settle up, then at least you have the money available for you to do so. Now, keep in mind, this is just as an individual. Um, because if you do it individually and we don't do it collectively, then it puts us at um, greater risk for them to come at us individually. If we do it as a collective, there will be too many people doing the same thing that they don't have the manpower to actually address it. So everybody talking about how, oh, well, you're going to get in trouble, da 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 First of all, the IRS is having a hard enough time taking care of the people who file taxes now. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the manpower now. And that was one of the things that the... um the Republicans on the right wing side wanted to, you know, defund the IRS because, you know, they don't want to pay taxes at all. 
So the basic premise is you're basically withholding the taxes. It's, it's like you're delaying the revenue for the city and the state because the city and the state is used to getting a certain amount of revenue each pay period. You know, if everybody is paying their taxes and nobody makes any changes, then they're getting that money on a consistent basis. Now, if hypothetically black folks in mass collectively withdrew or, or decided that they weren't going to pay city state taxes through their check, that would cripple the amount of revenue, you know, that these guys get during that period. In other words, they can't ignore that. Now, the question is, I've gotten questions about, well, is this, is this, am I going to go to jail? Like, no. Are you going to go to jail if you change your dependent? You know, and we're not talking about for a full year. I said that we should only do it for a month um, just to show, you know, the amount of power that we have in terms of the amount of money that we give to the city and the state. Um, we could go longer, but like I said, if you're if you're going to hold out your taxes, then you got to be prepared that if you're challenged on that and they say, well, this is frivolous, you have to pay this back, that you have the ability to do so, you know. And that's where actually Killer Mike's suggestion comes in, because what I was saying is this would be a perfect complement to what he's suggesting. If you don't take the city and the um, state taxes out of your check, if you choose not to have that taken out as a form of protest, you're going to have extra money. What I would do with that extra money is put it away into a black bank. Use that extra money to either put it into a black bank um, and start an account. You know what? That way, every pay period, you can have that extra money going into that account, and it's there in that black bank. And it also gives, allows you to open up an account with a black bank, because most of us have our accounts with, you know, Chase and Citibank and the rest of that. Maybe you don't. I mean, some people may say, "Well, I don't have the money to start up another account." Well, this will give you the money to do it, and it goes hand in hand with what Killer Mike is suggesting. Now, I. I'm I'm of the opinion that I'm not going to shit on something if the energy is going there and it appears to be working. And from all accounts, it seems like what Killer Mike is suggesting is working because they said that um, because of his um, suggestion that there's about 8,000 new accounts that were open at black banks. And I don't know if it's one particular black bank or just across the nation, but 8,000 new accounts is nothing to sneeze at in such a short period of time. So it would be foolish for me to go against that or to have an issue with that just because I have a slight issue with the whole um, black bank as a form of protest against police brutality. Because to me, it just seems like, I don't know, it just seems to me like we're misdirecting the energy. You know, it's like, yeah, the police is out here killing us. So what we need to do is go to Walmart and boycott. No, that doesn't work for me. You know, the police is killing us, so what we need to do is withdraw our money from the banks and put it in a black bank. I personally haven't heard what the black banks are going to do. Like, if you have that much influx of cash in your bank, what are you going to do for the people Um that are doing this? Like what concessions are you going to make as a black bank that's going to motivate people to put their money into your bank? That's what I would be interested to know. I mean, I've heard it's very good that they've started it, but I'm not one of these people that just say, just because you put money to a, a person that owns a black bank, that that's somehow striking a blow against white supremacy. I want to know what that those black bank holders are going to do with this influx of cash and capital that they're getting. But that's just an aside. It's not, it's not enough for me to be against it. Because as long as you're doing that, if you're taking your money out of white institutions and put it into, into a black bank, is how can I possibly be upset with that? What I'm saying is that this tax protest should go in line with that. It should, it should be um, a, a companion or a complement you know, to the black bank 
um, situation where you're starting up an account. And I've actually um, thinking about doing that anyway. You know, now that I see that, that um, the, the energy and the motivation seems to be pushing in that direction, I might as well go with it because I've been waiting for us to get moving on something, you know, something where it just empowers us or, or, or allows us to strike at this system in a real impactful and effective way. And I think with the um, tax strategy of withholding your city and your state taxes and a strategy of taking that extra capital and starting a black bank account or, you know, basically doing both, I think that that would be the most effective form of protest that we can possibly do. And that's just my opinion. <laughs> 